when people talk electrified aircraft, they could mean two things. They could mean more electric aircraft, where we take systems that pressurize the aircraft, heat and cool the aircraft, move control surfaces, and power them with electricity. Or we could talk about electrified propulsion, where we take the propulsion system of the aircraft and either completely electrify it or use electricity to help improve it. In both of those cases, we're trying to achieve things like reduced fuel burn, less carbon footprint on the environment, improved reliability, maintainability. All that technology has been developed and now we get to push it. So we're pushing it on a higher voltage, higher power, which means some subtle changes inside our machine. But it's about optimizing those machines to be the most power dense the most energy efficient and pushing the envelope of the physics inside it, truly. Leveraging our capability of what we know how to do today and then pushing our, our capability to even get more power and efficiency associated with those machines. I love the fact that we're working on the RTX umbrella on so many di different initiatives. But if I think about what really is exciting, it's, it's when we make something fly. And so I think about the Canadian hybrid electric propulsion that we're doing with Pratt Whitney Canada. That probably excites me the most. We're gonna actually see that fly, you know, in the next few years. What's been great about electrified aircraft is for a long time we've talked about the potential of electricity. And what we're really seeing now here over the last few years is a real acceleration. So we're not just talking about it, we're not just presenting conference papers on it. We're turning it into actual hardware. We're doing demonstrations. We're working with the FAA and others. You know, you're starting to get into a whole different realm of um, what you as a passenger will feel and see. If you take that to its ultimate conclusion and you get to a all electric system, and you think about urban air mobility, and you think about the different things that you will experience as a passenger, you're gonna have a very quiet all electric uh, machine transporting people from rooftop to rooftop. Electrification is on a journey. It's beginning in aerospace. And so over the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years, it's only going to increase and continue. And so as I look back, I'm, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to say, hey, look at the tradition we've started here, particularly on the propulsion side. We are the world leaders in the generation side today, and we'll continue that tradition in the future.